because my mom was a social worker and she, I, I don't, I might have been in middle school and she was going to be giving a talk at some sort of um, conference uh, for social workers in the state and she was in charge of door prizes for this, this conference and it was just little, little gifts and things that you would get for, you know, that you would get for attending the conference if your number was drawn. And, um, I asked her, I said, why, what, what is a door prize? And she said, oh, it's just, you know, it's just like a little, a little gift that you can win if they, if you have a ticket and they call your number, you win a door prize. I said, why is it called a door prize? What does that mean? And she said, well, it's basically like saying you don't have to do anything to win the prize other than just walk through the door. That's like you just have to be there. You walk through the door, you might win a prize. And I wasn't really sure if I, I wasn't completely sure that that's what it meant. So I actually looked it up last night because I was, I was just sure like there has to be some other explanation for why they call it that. I was curious to know if there was. And from what I saw, apparently that's that's just what it means. Um, you walk through the door, you might win a prize at this venue, whatever it is. Um, and some people in the comment section of my video yesterday compared it to a raffle. It's not exactly like a raffle. Um, with a raffle, you have to purchase a ticket like you pay for a ticket. And a lot of times the, the raffle money is going towards something. Um, with the door prize, you don't have to pay anything. You, you might win simply by being there. So, um, the door prizes are something we started doing at these reunions. Oh my gosh, probably 30 years ago. This particular reunion, um, I'm very lucky in that for my mother's family, the family reunion and her family has been going on for over a hundred the reunions in her family, I think, started back around 1915. They've been going for a very long time. The reunions, the reunions in my father's family were not going on that long because a significant portion of my father's family wasn't even in the country yet at that point. Um, but their reunions for their families started, I think, back in the 40s, the 1940s. So they've been going on for a very long time. And I think it's very cool to have that much, you know, history to it. Um, so we started doing door prizes with, um, people were encouraged to bring in homemade items, you know, something that they had made themselves, and we would put them all on a table, and then everyone, when they arrived at the reunion, would get a ticket, and it would have a number on it. Um, I will show you one of the tickets. Okay, so this is the actual roll of tickets that I will have with me. Um, and usually I will enlist the help of one of my kids to hand out tickets because I can't catch everybody. Um, this is a pretty big event. And if, you know, some people, when they think of a family reunion, they think of like 20 people. No, we usually have around anywhere from 85 to 130 people there. I mean, it's pretty, it's a pretty big, there are a lot of people. So, in case I don't catch everybody, I will give some of these to my kids and let them go around and hand them out. But you can see there are two tickets here, and it's perforated. So, I will give them one copy, and the other one I will stick in a, in a bucket or a hat or whatever. I actually have a beach pail this year to put my tickets in. Um, it has a little handle, so I can just put it on my arm, and I don't have to hold on to it. I can just drop the ticket, my half of the ticket, into the bucket. So, it has a number on it, and when I call out these numbers, I have my microphone and my little portable amp, my little speaker, you know, and I'll call out the tickets. That way I don't have to yell, because it's a large crowd, and they can't all hear me, and at the venue where we do it now, we're outside, so it's kind of, I'm not a very loud person, so I don't want to shout. <laughs> So, and if you have to call out that many numbers, I mean, if, you, if it's like a hundred people, you're going to have to call out a hundred. 
prize if you are you get to go up to the prize table and you have first pick of all the everything on the table and it starts to get picked over very quickly because everybody can take one thing um, what a lot of people do is if they have kids or grandkids they will give their kid or their grandkid the ticket like you you know you go get something I don't want anything um, and when people arrive at the reunion they will peruse the, the, the gift table and they will look at it like you know it's okay I want I would like to have that or that and you can see them it's, it's wild you can see them already kind of picking out what they want and the kids love it oh my gosh I love to see the kids go because the kids get so excited. As soon as they get out of the car, they will run up and greet like their cousins or, you know, ah, you know? and then they will all run over to the prize table like, oh, they want to see the goodies on the prize table. They get so excited. And there's always like one kid that will try to take something off the table and somebody always stops them like, no, put it back. We will do a drawing for the door prizes later. Um, usually I do it. Okay, so we, we will eat lunch around 12 o'clock, right around noon. And I usually give people a little bit of time to eat, but as people are kind of, you know, getting, finishing up with lunch, I go ahead and start calling out the numbers. So, like, everybody's kind of in a general area, you know. But the microphone with the speaker comes in very handy because it's, it's so much easier than trying to yell. So, that is what a door prize is. It is a prize you get simply for walking through the door. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to do anything. You just, you just have to have the right number when it's called. That's it. Um, yeah, so that's a tour prize. And it is so much fun. It is so much fun. So as I was saying, this is my 10th year of doing this. My dad's sister did it for many years. She did it for probably, I'd say at least 20 years. Unfortunately, though, she had, she was diagnosed with cancer and was not doing well. And it was really time to pass it on to the next generation anyway. That's what she said. She said it's really time for the younger folks to take over. Because at this point, she was in her 70s. And was like, I just can't, I can't do it anymore. So I volunteered to take it over 10 years ago. Unfortunately, my aunt has passed away since then. I was very sad. She was a very sweet lady. But, um, so in those 10 years,
I'm going to show you all of the items that I picked out for this year's family reunion in no particular order. I'm just going to show them to you as I grab them. And the first thing is this. It's, it's bubbles. I found these at Lidl. It's um, Super Miracle Bubbles. Super Miracle Bubbles. Um, and I, I grabbed these. They were like, I don't know, $2 each or something. There's a little bubble wand in there. And there's a ball. There's a little ball in there. And it's supposed to light up. Um, I didn't try them out before I bought them. I got them home and I, I just, I, I, I tried to, you know, it says all you have to do is tap to light. They don't work. <laughs> I got the blue one to work once and I never got it to work again. So I'm kind of bummed out about that. Like, that little ball was supposed to light up, but I tried it again before I sat down to start this video and I couldn't get either one of them to light up. That's why they're so foamy because I was, you know, like <laughs> hitting them together trying to get them to work and they just, they don't work. But hey, you have bubble stuff. You can blow a stream of bubbles according to this sticker. So you got bubble stuff. Kids love bubble stuff. That's another thing I found that any, anything like this, the kids love this kind of stuff. Any kind of thing that they can just take and, and play with right away. Oh, they, they love this stuff. So, I mean, yeah, the little, that little thing doesn't light up anymore, but it's okay. Um, they still have bubbles plus. Um, I'm thinking if you're outside, if you're using it outside, which I imagine most people would be, you're not really going to be able to see it anyway. I mean, if you're out in, like, daylight, that little thing is not going to light up enough to really show. So, I mean, whatever. It's, it's fine. So I have that. And at this time, too, I, I actually went for some things that were a little bit more practical, like things that people can actually, might actually like to have. I found this at Aldi. I have several items here from Aldi. This is a six outlet surge protector strip from So it's a 14 gauge cord, two and a half feet long, three prongs, and it has 450 joule protection. So it's great. And it has convenient space, a uh, convenient safe space saving flat plug. Convenient safe, save, try saying that five times fast. Convenient space saving flat plug. Convenient space saving plug. sitting over there going, well, I thought they would have picked that. How about that? 
I am just drawn 
encouraged to bring homemade things and put them on the table, but nobody really did that, but they would bring other things and put them on the table, like things they had bought. A lot of times, people would use it, too, as an opportunity um, if they had stuff at home, like it might be brand new stuff that they either got as a gift or just bought and never used. They would bring it and put it on the table to give so someone could have it, like if there was, like say they bought a waffle iron or whatever, and they just never used it, they would put it on the table if somebody else wanted it. So, it, it kind of just turned into, you know, just whatever. It doesn't have to be homemade. It can be whatever. So, alright. Oh, I have one more beach towel. This one is cool. This is another one that's 28 inches by 60 inches, and you can see the design here. It says Mermaid Vibes, and it looks like a big blue mermaid tail. Oh, it's so soft. It's very soft. I love the blues in this thing, too. They're so pretty. So, yeah, we have another lovely little beach towel. So, I think that's it. I think I have three beach towels. And we picked these up yesterday. Um, these are great whether you go fishing or not. It was with the fishing stuff, but these, I think, would be useful for other stuff, too. It's 8-inch stainless steel pliers, like little needle-nose pliers. And it has a little thing here to hold it closed. You have a little plastic, a plastic clip on it to hold it closed. It's just little needle-nose pliers. Um, I love these. I have some similar to these. I use them all the time for stuff. So, I thought something like that might be useful for Somebody might like to have some pliers. Stuff like this is really popular too. Just little individual tools like this. I meant to get more stuff like that, but I didn't. So maybe maybe next year I'll, I'll go a little more. I'll, I'll try to do more stuff like that. I have balls. Two balls. Look at that. I was just looking at this one. I have a top. I have a sleeveless top that would match the colors in this ball exactly. It has those greens and blues and yellows in it. It would perfectly match this ball. <laughs> That's funny. This is an Easy Strike Pro dodgeball. And this one is too. It looks like it's paint splattered. Kids love this kind of stuff. They fling them at each other. It's hilarious. But they're just foam balls. I mean... Be very hard to hurt somebody with them. I mean, you guess you could if you tried hard enough, but they will be throwing these at each other. <laughs> They'll probably end up in the pond or are just lost somewhere. <laughs> There's a big pond out where we are going. So, yeah, these are awesome. And I also picked up, I got one of these Bubba insulated uh, tumblers, NVS. 18 hours cold, 6 hours hot. It holds 24 ounces and is BPA free. It has that lovely crackle look to the paint. And you have a blue top and a blue plastic straw that goes with it. These are really popular too. People love stuff like this. These little insulated drink thingies. They love it. Oh, I was wrong. I have a fourth beach towel. Check it out. I forgot I bought this one. I think I got this one yesterday. And it had all the little animals on it. Oh my gosh, I forgot. 
first ticket, which this year is going to be six, no, sorry, eight, nine, one. So I'll write that down. And then after everybody has a ticket, I will see what number was the last ticket. So that's going to tell you how many people are there. I will take a ticket to go along with the count, but I don't know. I don't take anything off the table. I, um, I don't need anything. I don't, this is for other people. I don't need any of this stuff. So I want, I want other people to have it. I don't, I'm good. My kids do take something. Yeah. My kids, well, I don't, I take that back. I don't think they took anything last year because I think their numbers were called really late and by the time their number was called there was nothing up there. <laughs> um, really, my, well, my 17 year old is, is at the point where he's like, I'm good. And I don't I don't care. So if their number is called, they just don't go up there. But they have taken stuff off the table, yes. <laughs> Should I let them? Probably not. Um, but there's, there's plenty of stuff here. Oh, we got more. From looking at all of this stuff, um, there's really only one thing in here that my 12 year old would be interested in. I don't think there's anything here my 17 year old would want. We also have project paints, washable project paints made with solar power. These are so great and they're inexpensive. Um, I, I, my kids loved these little paints and they still do. My younger son still likes to play with these sometimes to paint stuff. So these are just little washable paints. It's just a set of the classic Crayola colors. Um, it's just a, a neat little thing. And I know there's gonna there will be at least one kid there that will be really tickled with that. Oh, and we have 
this thing is new too. I've never done one of these and it's kind of heavy. I got a portable charcoal grill and I picked this up at Aldi. And if you have Aldi in your area, I paid full price for this. They were $18.99. They have them on clearance right now for, I think, $9.99 or $9.49. They're half price. You can get one of these for $10. I still have it. I still use it. If I go fishing, that's the one I take. It's perfect. 